Okay, I'm here with my son, Evan. Hello. Okay. Um, we are going to do a review of some new gluten-free items that we had got from the Gluten-Free Fest in Minneapolis this past weekend. Um, I would like to say real quick, this is just a small event. I'm really sorry you had to be here for this. How much it sucks to be gluten-free. I don't do this by choice. We did not make this decision on our own how to be gluten-free. We... <laughs> We have celiac disease, which um, really sucks, and it turns out it's really expensive. If you can eat gluten, then that's awesome. I can't believe the comments I get about people thinking we we're doing this by choice, that I'm making my life difficult just because I want to. Um, if there are people out there that choose not to eat gluten, then I'm sure they have their own reason for it. I don't judge people based on that. I could care less. But in my life, if I could eat gluten, I would be chowing down on some gluten right now. Yeah. We miss donuts, don't we, Evie? Yep, yep. Yeah, we miss donuts. And it'd be nice to be able to buy food that wasn't so expensive. Like, for example, this lovely box of crackers we have here, there's half the amount for double the price. I do have to say, though, too, is for the people that say this is one huge fad, well, thank you for making it a fad because you've made the options more plentiful. You've given us the restaurants out there are starting to be more aware and observant and that's awesome. I don't think people realize how much it really does suck to go gluten-free, but I'm here to tell you it blows. Uh, gluten-free granola. What's that got? Yeah, so you're gonna put it in your mouth. Yay, give me it. Because it's got cranberries in it. Yay. Uh, uh, yum. Uh, okay, hold on. It says to tear here, and I'm trying to tear here, and it's not tearing here. Oh, yeah, we might need to have scissors. <laughs> All right, why don't you go get scissors and I will... Oh, I got it. I'm just kidding. Okay. All right, so he's going to try this cranberry granola and tell us how he likes it. <laughs> okay. I like it. Give me Nutty, it's not No, fine. don't eat it. Nutty cranberry maple. It gets the approval of the 8-year-old. Yeah. The 34-year-old is hesitant. No. For a good reason, because oh, dried wait. fruit's no, no, weird. No, 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 no. What? The cranberry got disgusting. <sighs> okay. Tastes so good at the beginning. I'd like the banana better. The banana? Oh, there's a banana one? Oh, that's the one you sampled over there, wasn't it? Yep. We also got a gluten-free snickerdoodle cookie. Which we signed up and then we got that. You signed up for what? Um. Because I didn't sign uh, up. Um, camp. A gluten-free campsite. Nice. You signed it up. I did? Yep. Interesting. It's a soft cookie. I like oh, it. You like cookies? Uh -huh. Me too. Uh -huh. This uh -huh. one is good. soy and nut free. Yeah. And gluten free. It's good. It's good. It's like cinnamon. Well, imagine that. It does have eggs and milk in it. Uh. Well, that's weird. It's a cookie. Some of this we did not pack. Okay, onwards. Okay, we're back. Sorry, we get lots of interruptions here in our house, as yeah. you can hear in the background. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I opened, but have not tried yet, this awesome bakery on main nut crunch thing, which smells actually really good. I'm gonna take a tiny nugget. You're grown, take your own nugget. Mm-hmm. Not gonna taste anything gross yet. But it is very crunchy. It's not bad. But it's kinda crunchy. Very Are you very supposed crunchy. to eat it like this? Is it like just... It looks like it's like cereal. And once again we're back from more interruptions. Alright, so now we're gonna try these cane natural protein bites. Cinnamon. Which is coffee flavor? Cinnamon almond. No, they just have coffee next to it. No. Um, it, must be, it must be good with coffee. Manage your weight without giving up taste. Let's get it. Yeah. Oh, here, give me the scissors. Yes. Use the scissors. That's why we got them. I can use the chatterbox. Okay. 
I need to get it first. Yeah, go for it. I'll let you. Wow. Delicious. Delicious. These are huge. I did not expect this to be this big. It go, it's bigger than checks. Just so you know, bigger than checks. I don't yeah. get it. Is it like a cereal? Is it a snack? I'm guessing it's a cookie cereal. bites. They're cookie bites. I don't not even know what I'm. Not very flavor. Not very flavor. Just like plain. Like no flavor. Like not worth the calories. No. All right, Glutino. Because we took a selfie with their sign at this event, we got a whole box, whole box full of their stuff, which was awesome. Let me tell you, because I've always wanted to try these. All right, so upon opening it up, I need to try it. I know that's what we're here for. Relax. This is what it looks like. Ooh, fancy. Yep. All right, so I'm not gonna toast it because I never did with pop tarts anyway. I just ate them raw. Kinda good, but bake it. Tastes good when you bake it. Yeah, it might taste better if you heat it up. Warning, heat this up. Could use a little yep. frosting. Should I go get the toaster? No. Alright, next. Uh, now I'm gonna try these rosemary and. Uh, careful the bench, dude. Yep, not couch. Her rosemary and olive oil crackers. Which are probably gonna be awesome. I'm gonna find out. Okay, I hope they do. Just shove stuff up in there. You're, so, you're braver than I am, kid. Really? It's a little spicy, but not as much to spice your mouth. It's good. This chip is full of regret. Okay, so we're gonna try our next product, which is the pretzels that also came in the box. I don't, I think we've had these before, but yeah. why not? It's like this is dry, but then this is baked. Looks like it's baked, it's brown. It doesn't have much salt on it. Yeah, we're gonna need more to salt it up. Unless we have salt. It's a pretzel. Mm. These Glutino gluten free chocolate cookie sandwich things. So basically, it looks like an Oreo. But, but they never get close, so I'm really I'm hesitant. I have yet to find a gluten free cookie that actually tastes close to an Oreo. Now these actually look kind of close. They look like a cheaper version of an Oreo. Can you see that? You see the cookie? Hmm. Yeah. Well, they bring it out. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like disappointment and frustration and tears of joy no wrong tears um but yeah i think the best thing that we tried uh, was this one the cookie yeah that. you know i think the pop tart part wouldn't have been so bad had they put some frosting on this would that be good Great. Wait, make your own. No, I like the crunchy fake frosting that Pop Tart has. But the fruit part was actually really good, and I think warming it up in the toaster might have been my be a better idea. I think that's it for our gluten free taste testing thing today. We'll do more later. Yeah, we'll try another round some other time with something else. I don't know. Figure it out. Bye. See ya.